we're gonna do a full tina. This stuff is like pudding. I build primer. Whoa, look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? <laughs> I build primer. Whoa. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? <laughs> I believe it makes it out of the gun. All right, well, we got the uh, couple of coats of sanding primer on all this stuff. Both the fenders. Try and sand those later tonight. Maybe in the morning. Wouldn't mind trying to get color on these parts this weekend. Here's the other one. I need to put more lights in here though if I'm gonna do this, because this was really hard to see what was wet trying to do my overlap with no light on this side. Not that I don't, I had that big monster light, but I didn't have that on. But. All right, we'll see how it goes. Well, I don't know, I put a coat of satin black on this valence and then I was gonna go over this with the green to try and do the patina job. It looked look like the satin black was the black primer. We'll see how it works. So this is the black. We'll get, get caught up when I get the green on. All right, coat one of actual paint. We're gonna do a faux patina, you know, like fake patina. So it's hard to tell, but I'm purposely like leaving this light in here so I can attempt to sand it looked like it's sun faded, although I think I gotta come down here more. So we'll see. We're gonna come back and do uh, coat number two. And that's the second coat. Next up will be finish sanding these guys, spray them black, and then the green, which we'll, we'll paint up to about here. All right, well, jump ahead a little bit. I sprayed the satin black on the fenders and then I fogged the green to try and have a, like a patina fade instead of sanding off all the green. I'm just spraying it where I need it and I'm gonna sand it off. We'll see how that turns out. At least it's, uh, it's got paint on it. So you can see I'm sanding with uh, 220 right over all that beautiful glossy green and trying to get, you know, some, some wear where the sun would be beating on it. So the top of the fender, you can see the sun would be beating on it in this direction. And then as you get to vertical, it wears away. So there's a little lip on it. All right, so I'm gonna get back to this little lip, I'm gonna try and get some of the black to show up. do mask that edge so I don't hand it away.
see how that works. So now that'll keep this vertical edge from me getting over crazy and sanding that away and just do the, the vertical in this direction. So see how that works. close-up on that. Let's focus in there now, but you can see the top edge. It's got the black, and then when I peel that tape back, it'll be green underneath there. Trying to get the green off of there, although the black is pretty thin here. So, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's not horrible with the gray showing through, but I'll probably still hair brush it. I'm not, I don't want the gray. Use it on microfiber to get the dust. Probably ruining this towel, but. There's more. So I'm going to try and get it all off that horizontal ledge and then try and blend it out to the radius a little bit. Then I'll go over this with a scotch brush and try and soften up these hard edges where I'm sanding. And I'll hit it with some. Uh, this is 220, I'll probably hit it with some 400 or 600 wet sand. I did that up here and it turned out nice. See what it looks like without the tape. That did what I wanted it to do. So you got the green on the wheel well opening, but when you're looking down, you can see where the sun's been beating on it. I'll probably hit that edge a little bit more and get just the top of that. But I think I'll do that with a Scotch Brite pad. See, I think that that worked better. Still got a little bit on the edge. I'm gonna keep working it, but keeps it nice and soft with that medium grit Scotch Brite, and then it'll it'll blend out all this fade from the overspray, like here how I did it. Um, a little more solid paint there, so you can see on the fender right here by the hood in the flat spot I'll have most of the most of the fade I'm hitting this with some 600 try and knock the edges off of everything that was sanding and smooth it out so it looks like it's faded not sanded we'll see 
probably clear over this with a snap. That should fill in whatever. Little feathered edges. I don't know. This is all just experimental. I've never, never done this. Just thought about it. All right, I'll go with a little airbrush. Put the black back on. I figured it out a little bit with the airbrush. I got a little spot up here too. Right? Went through the primer. Probably still go over that and scotch bright it when it's dry. So we'll jump back to the other blender. I hit a couple of spots on this already. finish sprayed panel so pretty soon we'll be getting get on to sealing this sealing the car and priming it and move on to those
So I'm, I think I'm done with the fenders for now.